the truth. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of the Survival Let's Play. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. If not, have no fear. This episode is going to be a good one. So, so it should cheer you up. I got a whole bunch of stuff in store for the episode. As you can tell, I've been testing out some things, and, and I'm looking forward to it. I really am. But before we get into the episode and all the fun stuff we're doing, let's let let's take a look at some of the comments from the last episode. And while we're doing that, I want to say thank you guys for leaving the support you do on this series. It's what makes it fun, and it, it, it's awesome to see that you guys are so invested in this thing. And I'm looking forward to bringing you guys some awesome episodes in the future. Also, I'm a little sick today, so I apologize if I sound a little funky. So, the to-do list for today's episode. First things first, I want to create a sugarcane farm, and you'll learn exactly why in just a minute. I also want to create a hidden room right back over there. I want to craft an enchanting table, and I want to merge this bow and the other bow I have, and we can officially name it once we do that. I think the other bow's over here. Yeah, there it is. The punch one bow. I think this one came from a skeleton as well, but with these two, we're gonna have a pretty cool bow. So a few episodes ago, you guys had the opportunity to name this fella, and uh, well, we'll frostbite one by a landslide. So that's the name. Uh, so we'll be doing that today. And now that I'm finally back from break, I can give you guys the names, uh, or the potential names for our new pupper. Uh, so here they are. Uh, these are the names that we could name this little guy. The first name is Rusty, which I think is a pretty cool one. The second name is Chief. Uh, the third is Casper. And the last name is Clifford. Oh, where are you going, buddy? So those are the names. Go ahead and check out the poll on the... Just, could you stay still? Go check out the poll in the top right of the video if you care to be uh, to be involved in the naming of this fella. So so that's that. I'm, I'm pretty excited to see what you guys come up with, but I think, I think I would be happy with any of those names. They're all pretty cool ones. So first things first, one of the things on the to-do list was to create a sugarcane farm. Now, do I not have... It's gotta be in the other base, huh? Well, I'll take these bones. I'm gonna split this up in some bone meal. This will be useful, but I do need the sugar cane. Hopefully it's back here. Uh, I, I, oh, yep, there it is, the sugar cane. So we can get started with this uh, on our farm. I think that's all I need out of here for now. And then while we're here, I guess we can go ahead and merge these bows and add the name to it. We're calling it Frostbite, and there we go. Wow. It's looking good. It's looking good, ladies and gents. I see my chickens are getting busy. Okay, I, I really need to work on expanding this farm and, and this whole area and just all my farms in general, but that time will come. That time will come. I'm just having fun doing other stuff right now, but... Oh, I, I always like chucking eggs, and I never get go Come on! So, uh, yeah, I, I've been working, and if you take a peek over here, I've set up something pretty cool. Hopefully you guys aren't mad at me, uh, but, th but this is what I've done. I I've set up a nice area for this sugarcane farm, and you can just sit right there. Yeah, oh, oh. Excuse me. It's a five stripe design. I think it'll be good. Now, this is just temporary. Obviously, it's not in an ideal location at all, but I needed to set up an area where I can at least get some sugarcane because I am in the need for paper. If you guys aren't following, one of the things that I said I wanted to do was make an enchantment table. And, well, I need to have a few bookshelves for that as well. So that's where this stuff is going to come in handy. So hopefully I can get this thing going at a pretty solid rate here, and then I'll have a bunch of paper, and I can make a ton of bookshelves, and, and then we can have a nice enchanting room just like that. So I'm going to use some of this bone meal here, uh, I think, and I'm just going to, I guess, grow some up artificially, and, and then and then once once I have this full farm planted, I'll just let it grow in the natural sense. But, but for the time being, I can just go ahead and uh, bring these guys up, get a few extra sugarcane, and fill out the farm 
should be done in no time. And and I obviously don't need that much, but I think it could be cool to use this as a as a decoration block down in the in the little ravine eventually. Uh, this is a little overkill, but I'm gonna get enough paper for a book a book store if I need one. So it'll be pretty cool. So we'll let that sit here. Looks like it's about time to hit the sack. I'll meet you guys in the morning and we'll work on creating our uh our little, our little secret base. And when I say secret base, I mean secret base. As you can tell, I've been, I, I've been doing a little work here, thinking, you know, just thinking ahead on possibilities. And I think I've come up with a way to make a hidden door. Uh, so I'll go over this in just a second. And that hidden door will be placed right here. So inconspicuously within this lovely ravine, there's gonna be a secret passageway over here. Um, and then you can come in here, and, and then and this'll be the enchanting room. Now, um, I, I carved it out ahead of time just to save a little bit of uh, work. And, and of, of course, being being me, I found, I found, well not just one, two emeralds. <laughs> I don't know what it is. I don't know what this series, the difference between this one and the last one is, but it's it's been insane, the amount of minerals I've found, specifically emeralds. So. I'm just taking my blessings. I'm counting them, and I'm running away with a ton of uh, with a ton of currency. So I'm looking forward to to finally being able to trade once we get our village back up. It's gonna be so nice. Uh, in the meantime, though, we only got one dude, and he's and he's a librarian with with some kind of bad traits. So. We'll just be stocking them up in the meantime. Okay, so this is the room carved out. Obviously, the enchantment table will go here, and then there'll be some bookshelves. It'll be cool. It'll be cool. Um, It's going to be very simple. Just a small little hidden enchanting room. No room for storage. I'll probably have that somewhere else, but it's just supposed to be something small for the time being. And... This is the door design. Now, obviously, it doesn't work right now. I don't have pistons yet, but that's what I'll be making in today's episode. So, so I guess I, I put these planks down because they start with a P as well. So I have the stone here, which is just going to be stone, and then the planks, which are in place of the pistons. You see what I did there? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some of this iron, some of the redstone and the slime balls I have from the trip already, and, and we'll see what we can do here. Um, how do, okay, I'm gonna need something else. What else do I need? I forgot completely. Okay, that's obvious. What about this? Oh, so I need planks and cobblestone. That's not bad at all. Okay, uh, let me grab my planks and my cobble and just like that, we should be able to, oh boy. I only need, I think, six? Yeah, six, there we are. And then all six of these pistons, I can just go ahead and turn into sticky pistons and like that, uh, we're, we're, we're ready. So now that we got the pistons down, let's go ahead and place them in. So the first ones are gonna go uh, right here. So if this is where the door is gonna be closed, they need to go two behind and one to the side. And then the other ones are gonna go back around and ooh, I think probably should have not put those in first. So the other ones are gonna go back here like a so. Uh, so there's that, and then these two, yeah, perfect. Uh, so there, so there's the pistons. Now I gotta clear out a little bit more space over here for the redstone, but this is where all of it's gonna be uh, back in this area up here. So as you can see, my fake contraption over here with the plank pistons um, has redstone in this sort of manner. So I'm gonna grab it all from here and go ahead and put it into my new build over in this area, the real deal thing. Um, so what we do is we just get redstone going right here, right here, right here, just like that. Oh, gotta get through this as well. Uh, and then I think we bring it up here and then, and ooh, what do I, I think I just put it on top. Yeah, 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 okay, I put it on top and then I gotta get another one here and that's where the repeater goes, we're in business. So that's this side done. Uh, I'm pretty sure we'll find out fairly quickly if it doesn't work, but uh, uh, so far, just replicate that and it should be good. And we'll take all the stuff from that end and we can go ahead and add it on to the real build once again, just like the other side. So this is gonna be a little bit more complicated, especially because I didn't actually pay attention before I broke it, but um, <laughs> this goes over here with like a one or two tick delay. We'll find out if it works and we'll change it. Uh, we'll make the necessary adjustments, but uh, the redstone will come over the top and then down the side. Now, this is gonna be the hard part. I want it to be hidden. 
so I'm not sure how well I'll be able to do this. It's definitely going to be trial and error for sure. So if, if I wanted the button, let's say I want the button to be right here. That means that the button is back this way, possibly? Is it, is that the button? No, the button will power, oh, the button will power that, okay. So you hit the button, the power gets sent to this, which goes over, over the repeater, powers those pistons on, on this side. But how do I get these ones to go? I need to power this block right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. Yeah, and then it goes like that. Now, this is just temporary, because I do want to hide it, but this should theoretically work. I, I, I think. It should. So, I guess we could place a lever and check it out? Here we are, lever made. If, if it's connected properly... Okay, it's not. Uh, it's not. <laughs> you know what? It, it could be this. I might have to place the lever on the actual block itself. Let's, let's try it again. Let's try... Yeah, there we go. The hidden room. It's completely hidden. Obviously, this this will need to be changed. This is a little too obvious, but Okay, so we got an issue here. That's fine. That's fine. You know, just bug fixing. Bug fixing. What we probably want is another tick. Yeah, there we go. Another tick on that. Let's try that again. There we go. And yeah. Oh, that's nice. Nice and smooth. And obviously, I'm going to try to cover this up a little better uh, in the future because that's a little nasty. And then I don't want to have this showing as well. Th that'll, be, that'll be cleared up in the future. But that is the door. Uh, essentially, the bare bones model. Uh, the version 1.0, as some would say. So we walk through, and then this is going to be where I have my, uh, my, my hidden enchanting table. So the table will go right here. We'll probably have to push this back a few more blocks. But, but we're in business, ladies and gentlemen. Redstone Master at your service. Completely joking, by the way, if you couldn't tell. Um, <laughs> but now that that's done, we can go ahead and break down our model, which uh, is good because that's a little bit of an eyesore. And we can move on to bigger and better things like creating our first enchantment table. Now, now we can't actually do it yet. Um, there's no guarantee we'll be able to do it in today's episode, but I'm gonna give it my best shot. And the reason for that is I only have three diamonds, which means I'm gonna have to use them all up uh, on, on a pickaxe, so we're gonna have to find diamonds uh, before, oh my goodness, it's a, it's a, it's a test. Ladies and gentlemen, today is a big day. Today is a very big day. If I can find diamonds with the diamond pickaxe, we're in business because that will be uh, that will be it and then we'll be able to for sure make an enchantment table But uh, because we had to use those up to get this diamond pickaxe It's not guaranteed now. We do need the pickaxe though because I have to get obsidian So either way it had to be done um, We just got to hope we can find uh, Diamonds now all right, so I've stocked myself up for an adventure. We've got frostbite with us uh, our new diamond pickaxe a few extra supplies some bread uh, Torches which I need more of a water bucket and uh, some wood and of course a few arrows So it's time to go on a journey ladies and gentlemen I do need the torches though And I think we're gonna go through the back end here because I, I still don't feel like I've gone through all of this area And we've got uh, some friends as well. Yeah, there's some stuff I haven't seen over over here so it's definitely gonna be at least a good a, there's a good chance that we're gonna find diamonds hello guys I see you're having a party back here let me just go oh, ahead and eliminate you thank you for the XP I appreciate it <laughs> let's keep it moving so uh, clearly there's an area down here I haven't explored yet um we're hoping diamonds possibly uh, I know people say don't strip mine but he but, uh, but, but come on it's it's so it's so fun it's the bet no it's not even close but uh, it is it is useful it is useful so I've just decided to strip mine here there were no caves I couldn't really find any good ones so we're going strip mining which sometimes works out sometimes it doesn't I'm gonna do it on the bottom level I know I think people usually say go like 10 13 12 or whatever but I, I can't count, so we're just gonna go on the bottom. You know, it, it, it should be it should be good. Make sure I'm not using our brand new diamond pickaxe. We'll use this iron one, and we'll hopefully be able to find diamonds or something cool, or at least another cave on this level, or emeralds. I, I could do that as well. Um, but yeah, as long as lava doesn't fall on my head, I should be pretty safe down here, and I'll come back to you guys once I find 
Some special. Hey, okay, more lapis right here, not even too far in, and I've already got a few batches of it. I'll take that. This will be useful. This will be really useful for the enchanting especially. Uh, and then also if I want to dye anything, it always comes in handy for that as well. Uh, so I'll keep on chugging. Hey, some redstone in it, what looks to be two different veins of iron as well. So I'm getting, I'm getting a good profit here. Uh, still no diamonds though, uh, so I'll come back uh, with the next announcement or, or, or find should I say oh boy okay 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 relax relax uh this pickaxe is about to die but it looks as if oh okay I'm just I'm just running into a whole bunch of traps here I need to be very kind what is going on okay there's definitely a bunch of gravel over here is there a way I can do this without being suffocated or burned to death I'm not too sure I think we can Go this way. Oh, okay, 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 okay. There's the lava. I found it. Okay, uh, so uh, a few pickaxes down, and I, uh, well, I haven't found any diamonds. However, I, 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 well, I also couldn't find a cave that was attached to this lava. It just looks like it's a bunch of random lava. That's fine, though, because uh, I do need it. I do need lava to get my obsidian, but... Just a little bummed out that it didn't turn out to be anything cool. So, we'll grab some of this gold, some of this iron, some of this... Okay! Gravel... I'm just, you know what? I'm just going to leave it for later. <laughs> so, we'll grab some of this stuff. Um, and then I think what I'll do is I'll get some obsidian down. And uh, we'll go ahead and mine it up so that we can at least get part uh, of the of the recipe list uh, gathered uh, for this, uh, for this uh, enchanting table. So, yeah, we're making a little bit of progress. I'm not exactly sure how many pieces of obsidian I need. I'm just gonna go for it and, and try to get try to get a good amount here. Um, maybe enough for a nether portal as well if I'm feeling crazy. We'll see. Uh, but there we are. That's that. So uh, I guess it's uh, I guess it's time to start breaking. I suppose. Let's get after it. So 24 obsidian. That ought to do the trick for sure. Now. I've just got to find diamonds. Uh, it's it's plain and simple, folks. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend some arms onto this bad boy. And if you don't know what that looks like, I'm just going to punch out as far as I can reach. So four, I think it is. Uh, four blocks like this. And just see if I can find any diamonds uh, on the outside of, of, my, uh, of my little strip mine here. Well, it, it, sometimes it works. Sometimes it doesn't. Uh... So we'll see. Also, another tip though, leave two in between because as you can tell, I can see all these blocks and I can see all these blocks. So you never miss anything, not even emeralds. So at this point, I'm not exactly sure w what I'm doing. I just kind of just decided to go a different way. We'll see if I can find anything good. Um, and, and then and then we'll go from there. I don't know. I just, it's just, just, just a little upsetting, you know, when you work so hard to try to find diamonds and you just... You just can't do it. You just simply can't. It's it's a shame. It's a shame. It really is. We're gonna. Well. Yeah. <laughs> I spoke a little too soon. Hello there, guy. How you doing? Do you have any friends? Please tell me you have friends. No. D don't be the only. Okay. There's two. There's two. That's something. And there's three. Okay. Could there be four? There could be four. There could be more. All right. Let's take a peek. One. Yes, two, okay, and three, okay, I'll take it. Three more diamonds, our first ones came in a set of three, this one does as well. Uh, not too mad, not too mad at all, so I'm gonna just go back upstairs, I've been down here for way too long, I'm gonna go make myself an enchanted table. I can put away some of this extra stuff here. We got a whole bunch of redstone oil down there. A little bit more lapis, which is nice. Uh, and then we also got a little bit of iron and gold as well we can work on smelting up. So I'll throw that inside of here. Um, but, but the real reason we all know what's up. Let's go ahead and make this enchanting table. How do I do that? Okay, I just need one book. It can't be that hard. Do I have leather? Okay, not in here. What about outside? I'm sorry, sir. This is for the betterment of my kind. You must go. <laughs> sorry, dude. But two beef. That's not bad. And then we also got some leather as well. And what do you know? Some extra sugar cane. I don't even have to take it from my farm. So we can go ahead and get that going. Um, and we should have enough uh, to get to get a book. 
Now, we've got leather and the sugar cane, which we can turn into paper. It's going to be done, ladies and gentlemen. We are getting our enchantment table today. Honestly, I was a little scared it wasn't going to work out, but but we seem to manage. And let me see. Oh, that could have been bad. That could have been bad. Let me take a... Oh, wait a second. Oh, okay. Huh. That's interesting. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> oh, boy. I caught myself the first time. I did, I did, but it, you know, it, what, 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 what was that? I caught, I, I almost died, and then I caught myself, and then I proceeded to, to just die anyways. Oh, brilliant, brilliant, I tell you. So I think I got everything from this level. Um, let's, uh, let's make sure. Okay, seven levels. I think I had like 20 something before. Uh, not the best, but it is what it is. Sometimes I just don't get it. I, what was I thinking? What, what, what was the point of that? What did I get out of doing that? But now we can go ahead and make a little bit of paper. There we are. And then I think in order to make a book, you just do, yep, you just do that. Then we put the book on top, the obsidian like so, the diamonds on either side, and we have ourselves an enchantment table. All right, we can put her, I think we we'll put it right there. Yeah, that's a good amount of space. We'll have to clear out a little bit more, but there we go. Ladies and gentlemen, an enchantment table down. That means that in the next episode, I'm going to have to work up to a high level number again because I just died, but well, we're going to be able to enchant. So I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to it. And, and that's all for today's episode, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. I hope you enjoyed in the next episode. I have a few ideas. We could start trying to gather some explosives, you know, maybe uh, begin work on demolishing this uh, area over there. We could also... Uh, try to get some good enchantments. There's a whole bunch of stuff. So let me know what you guys want to see. And I'll, of course, uh, be listening. Thanks, guys, once again. I'll talk to you all later. And as always, stay frosty, my friends. Peace, guys. See ya. Bye-bye.